But it's true. I don't care. It's true. It's not true. It stinks. You say he was being blackmailed. By who? You don't know. For having an affair. With who? You don't know. Did anyone else know about it? Probably not. You don't know. I knew about it. Big Dave told me about it. And the spot he was putting himself in by getting the money. Terrific. Your husband backs you up. That's terrific. Come on, you gotta give me something to work with. Freddie Reed and Schneider is good, but he's not a magician. He can't just wave his little wand in the air and make a plausible defense materialize. Look, look at what the other side is gonna run at us. They got the company books, prepared by you, cooked by you, that's motive. They got a murder scene you had access to, that's opportunity. They got that little trimmer thing he was stabbed in the throat with, a dame's weapon. It was big days. Don't interrupt me, that's means. They got a fine, upstanding pillar of the business community as a victim, and then they got you. A disgruntled, number-juggling underling who on the day in question was drunk as a skunk and whose alibi for the time in question is being passed out at home alone. I was with her. Like I say, it stinks. I killed him. Okay. You killed him. Okay. We forget the blackmail thing. You killed him. How come? He and Doris uh, were having an affair. Okay. How did you know? I just knew. A husband knows. Will anyone else say they knew? And don't say your wife. How did you get into the store? I took Doris's keys. Will anyone say they saw you there? On your way there? In there? On your way back? I don't think so. Will anyone corroborate any goddamn part of your story at all? Oh, come on. People, you can't help each other like that. Let's be realistic now. Let's look at our options. Well, frankly, I don't see any options. Look, I cannot present story A. I cannot present story B. I could plead you for a nutcase, but you look too composed. I could offer a guilty plea, and in return they don't give you the juice, but I don't think you want to spend the rest of your life in Chino, and I know you didn't hire Freddie Riedenschneider to hold your hand at a sentencing hearing. Hell, you could have gotten Lloyd Garraway for that. No, 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 no. We're not giving up yet. You hired Freddie Riedenschneider. It means you're not throwing in the towel. I litigate. I don't capitulate. All right, no options, we gotta think. All right, we go back to the blackmail thing. Yeah, it, it titillates, it's, it's open-ended, and it makes him the bad guy. You dig around, you never know. Something unsavory from his past, he approaches you to help him with the money, it's too late, his past comes back to haunt him, who's to say? Yeah, 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 forget the jealous husband thing, that's just silly. We're going with the blackmail, I'll be in touch.